Hello, everyone. How you doing? Praise God. Praise God. This go to live video is about um, getting back the fire of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Getting back the fire of God. And you already know that uh, we've been having, we're going to say, we're not having any trouble with Facebook Live. Come on, somebody. We're going to just switch that thing up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I've been also in consecration mode. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So this one is called Getting Back the Fire of God. So many people ask me, they say, Apostle Deanna, how do you get close to God? How do you actually, you know, um, keep the fire going? It's very simple, to be honest with you. You have to keep doing what you used to do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's very simple. You just got to keep doing what you used to do. What is it that you used to do? I'm, I'm, I'm going to start and I'm going to try to make it quick, brief, but very powerful. What you used to do is when God woke you up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, a little still voice. You, you, you know, he'll get up and say, um, we got to talk like a lover or a husband. We, we got to talk, woman of God, man of God. And, and you stop. You, you, you know, you was like, God, you know what? We're going to talk later and you go back to sleep. Then you stop getting in your word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You remember when you were in love with that word. Come on, somebody. You was quoting the word. You were speaking the word. You was telling people how to get in the word. You were ministering. Come on, somebody. You was on fire for God, and everybody know it. But you have to understand, it's dangerous, and people don't understand. You know, I hear people all the time, even when I came to Christ, I said the same thing. You know when you come to Christ, and all of a sudden you say, why is it that when I came to Christ, it got hard? It didn't really get hard. What happened is the enemy recognized one thing. You were serious. Oh, come on, somebody. He recognized that you were serious. And so he said, you know what? We got to stop us. So that's what he did. He sent some assignments against you. And you start getting discouraged. But what you didn't understand is that you were supposed to go deeper in that word. You were supposed to go higher in that word. You were supposed to get ready for war. That's why I don't agree with when people come into the altar. And there's not people to really minister to them. Because what you, to be honest with you, even before you go to the altar, and this is just me, I've never heard nobody else say it, I really believe that there should be a class. That when you come to this altar, all hell is about to say, oh, wait a minute. You want to get saved? Oh, wait a minute. You want to know who you are? Come on. Every, I'm talking about every demon starts looking and saying, oh, they're getting serious. They want to change their life. We're going to lose one. We're going to lose some. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so they start sending Pookie, Ray Ray, Fine Shirley. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. Start sending everything. Because here's the enemy. Here's the enemy. You see, and that's why I don't understand why we have a church that don't understand the enemy. You, in any war, come on, somebody. It, 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 it'll show you. It'll show you in books. It'll show you in the Bible that in any war, you have to have some strategies. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the enemy have more strategies than the body of Christ. And that's the problem. We are supposed to understand that our warfare is not, it's not carnal, but it's spiritual. I'm not talking about getting up on the phone and say, you know what? I'm going through some calling somebody. No, no. I'm talking about calling King Jesus and going into seclusion. Okay. I got, I got a war to fight. Guess what? I got to be a warrior. I got to tell you something what God told me. He said, in a war, we need warriors. Mm -mm -mm. Where are the warriors, people? I know that you're educated and you can talk and you can preach and eloquent speaking, but you don't know how to war. You can't lay hands on yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You hear what I'm saying? You can't lay hands on yourself. And yeah, you want to lay hands on other people. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, all you got to do is start back doing what you used to do. That's simple. I can tell you from experience, and I'm very serious. The only time I ever lost sight, because I'm very transparent, is when I married someone I wasn't supposed to marry in 2012. I even stopped hearing the voice of God. That was one of the most, I, I would say, darkest moments in my life, and I never wanted to experience that again. And at my coming back to the Lord, I remember I couldn't even pray in my home because once you invite the enemy in, that's it, that's a wrap, he actually takes over. I went in my car. I'll never forget. I was, I was, I was in, you know, I, I like my car, so I'm going to say that right. It was a 2016, um, it was a 20, actually, what, 13 Mustang. It's beautiful. And I sat in that car, and I said, Lord, I said, I didn't do like people. Most people want to blame the devil. I'm going to tell you what I did. I said, Lord, I did this. You didn't do it. The devil didn't do it. I did this because I, I was obedient, disobedient. I said, but if you get me out of this thing. 
thing, I promise you, I ain't going to never play with you again. I ain't going to never leave you again. If just get me out of this. And that's what he started doing. God started talking to me. He said, now this is how you do it. He said, you're going to have to cut this. You're going to have to cut this. You, and, he got, he, and, he, and he tells you, you're going to have to be strong. Because you the one latched on to this thing. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why you have to make sure that what you're connected to is of God. Because if not, it'll pull you from God. And oh, come on, somebody. And I know you think that you're a super Christian and you think it can't happen. But I'm here to tell you, it'll pull you from your God. And I knew I loved it, God. But it pulled me from my God. And I'm going to tell you why. It wasn't just him. It was the demons working in him, through him, and, and everybody else that was connected to him. Oh, come on, somebody. So you're thinking you just get married to one person. Oh, let me tell you something. You're getting married to the whole household of demons if they have some. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. That's why you're supposed to pray. You're supposed to pray and say, God, who is this? Every time you meet somebody, I'm very serious. I don't care who it is. It could be a little bus bus, a little kid. You think I'm playing. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't know how they blowing up people across the third world countries using kids. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. I don't trust nobody. I don't care who. It could be an old lady. I don't care. She might have some bombs on her. She might have. She might be the top demon. Oh, come on, somebody that then transferred into an old lady body. Y'all don't hear how this thing goes. It's called body snatchers. It's real. It's not just in the movies, honey. You're supposed to ask God, who is this before me? And did you send him or, is this a, or did he send him? Because it's an assignment however you go. Even when you get married, it's a marriage ministry. Oh, come on, somebody. You just don't marry somebody because they fine or they got a good credit score. Come on, somebody. You marrying your soulmate if it's of God. And if it's not, that's an assignment to kill you, destroy you, steal from you. You think it's a game? And y'all wonder why. So it's not about what happened. You happened. That's what happened. You know, I hear a lot of people say, well, well you know, I, I used to hear God. I, I used to be on fire for God. That was it. I, 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 because God don't leave us. Oh, come on, somebody. I've been doing this thing for 20 years, and it's been hard. It ain't haven't been easy. I made a whole lot of mistakes. I, I hurt a whole lot of people. I, I said a whole lot of things that I didn't mean to say, and, and it's a process. But once you start getting mature in the Lord, and that's where you should be going, from level to level, from glory to glory, from faith to faith, from obedience to obedience. Come on, somebody. Your levels should rise. Come on, somebody. It's sad that you see Christians that have been in church 30, 40, 50 years and still don't know God. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. And I'm talking about pastors, bishops, leaders. Don't know God. You hear me? They don't know God. They know of God. But they don't know God. Just because you work in a church, just because you pastor a church, just because you're the bishop of the church, that doesn't mean that you know God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So it's very easy. You see, let me tell you what had happened. Church folks and, and in this new age religion, they made everything, uh, you know, intelligent where you have to do A, B, C, D, E, uh, 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 uh. That's a lie before God. All you have to do because, and that's what's wrong with the church, God said, you got to go back to basics. Start doing what you used to do. Examine yourselves. What you doing? Are you spending time with God? Are you spending time in the Word? Whatever and whoever you're spending time with, that's your God. Nothing should come before your God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, uh, uh, let, let's talk. Because I've had calls from family and friends. And, and I know some of you wondering too. Well, Pastor Dixon, I, I thought you said you was getting married. I sure am. But guess what? I'm taking my time. At first, I was about to rush that thing. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm too transparent for you. Then guess what? Duh. Because I'm transparent, honey. Hold on. Let me get this straight. Are you marrying Deanna Dixon or Apostle Deanna Dixon? Because guess what? Apostle come before Deanna Dixon. Oh, come on, somebody. You better understand what I just said. They better know that they know that they know that they know what you're getting into, honey. Because God come first. I don't want to hear that. Oh, you're spending too much time with God. Oh, come on, somebody. I got some friends. I got some mentors going through the same thing right now. Their husband is not as saved as they are. So now they got some extra problems. Oh, come on, somebody. I used to jump into stuff. But now I look back and I say, hmm. Hold on, let me examine myself and you. Oh, come on, somebody. Can you handle who I am? Can you handle the calling on my life? Can you handle the anointing? Can you handle that I love my God before you? Mm. And before family, too. That's why family talking about me. Oh, yes, I'm going to put it out there, trying to hurt me, do all kind of stuff. But I love you. I ain't finna talk about you like that. I'm just talking about how you do because you can't handle who I am versus who I was. 
See, y'all liked it, the lion, Deanna. Y'all liked it, the, the alcoholic, Deanna. Y'all liked it, the, the, the sex craze, Deanna. Y'all liked it, the thieving, Deanna. Y'all liked it, huh? But you can't understand the anointing that's on Apostle Deanna Dixon. Mm, let me tell you something. When God gets you, ain't nobody can stop you. When God gets you, you ain't gonna put nobody before God. I'm talking about when you really get you. I ain't talking about that fake anointing. I'm talking about because the real anointing, it'll penetrate from the inside out. That, that, that you can't even help yourself. You'll, you'll try to help yourself. You'll try not to do it. And God and God will pour it thicker on you. And thicker and thicker. Next thing you know, I surrender, God. I surrender. I don't want to fight no more. I, I, I can't fight you anyway. As a matter of fact, I ain't never saw anybody that fight against God. And actually win. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Well, I've been in consecration, y'all. Y'all y'all don't see it. Y'all better understand. That's why. Let me tell you something. Don't think anything has me. Not even Facebook, honey. Because that's why I ain't been on here lately. Because guess what? It ain't just about that the life not working. But guess what? I got to stay connected to my God. Because let me tell you something. The anointing that's on my life. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. I got some real demons. I ain't got no little play demons like them famous ones. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Because you can get beside yourself. And God said, wait a minute, honey. That's what's wrong. You, you, you're doing everything but communion with your God. Every day you got to ask God. God, here I am. I'm your servant. Because that's what we are. We ain't all that. You, you, you got people wanting to be in the ministry because they want to have a, a whole team that walk with them like they're a star. Oh, come on, somebody. Like they, they belong in Hollywood. I don't know why you preaching. Hallelujah. Because you're messing up the body of Christ with that foolishness. Now, everything, everybody coming in here thinking that they could just preach and teach and don't, um, don't even understand about warfare. The first thing about warfare. And then getting into a title that you ain't even called for. And you'll wonder why. Because the title and the calling that you're called for is the level of warfare that you will experience. And you're wondering why some of y'all are getting tired because you're into something that God never called you for. You're doing it out of benefit and God going to get you. But guess what? You better be careful because them devils might get you too. Oh, come on, somebody. Everybody know the, the sons of Sceva. They say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Hallelujah. Them demons been around for thousands of years. If you think you can play with this, you better stop. Because God going to stop you or they going to stop you. But somebody going to stop you. Those that doing it for profit, P-R-O-F-I-T. Oh, yeah, I'm on one, honey. And, and, and let me tell you something about the anointing. I ain't ate all day on purpose. Oh, you don't hear me. I love it. God, use me. Use me for your glory. Let them see you and not me because y'all don't need me. But God will take a mess and turn it into a message. Hallelujah to his name. So, everybody asks me, how do you get the fire of God back? Start doing what you used to do. Say no to everybody that want Because one thing about it, I don't know if y'all noticed this. But when you get saved, everybody want to bless you all of a sudden. Uh, so you think it's a blessing, but it's really a cursing. You know, come on. I, I, I'm going to pay for the meal. Come on. I, I'm going to buy drinks. Come on. I'm going to give you free dope. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I got the alcohol. I, I got the girls. I got the guys. I got everything you need all of a sudden. You better start saying and seeing how that devil work. I, 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 I can't go. I'm spending time with God. Oh, you tripping? No, you tripping. Hallelujah. Because I don't want to be where I used to be. I don't want to go no more. Don't try to pull me back into that stuff. Because I promise you, as long as you're living, that enemy will try to pull you back from God. That's what's going on. So you're going to have, you, you, you're you in the war. And, and the sad part is, the ones that don't want to fight, you don't understand. You still getting fought against. And guess what? You're losing. So you won't have no... You don't have no choice but to fight if you're real. Because I'm not going back to where I came from. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. So it's easy. Get back to doing what you used to do. And don't let nobody pull you from your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I love you all. And you know I'm going to tell you the truth. Hallelujah. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless you. Roll out, soldiers.